Cheers, guys. This is Mark from Wandering Souls, back with a new video for you guys. Um, glad you can could tune in again, and um, yeah, I got a massive uh, CD update to do for you guys. I got 10 CDs to show you guys. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff I picked up. I picked up some stuff online in your record store, and also went to a record fair. So uh, yeah. Stuff got um, piled up a bit. I've got 10 CDs to show you. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I'm not gonna talk too long about one CD, otherwise, the video, if I talk 10 minutes a CD, then the video will be one and a half hours. I don't feel like doing such a long video. So, um, let's wrap it up here and give it a go. Um, first one up, um, the first two are gonna show you. I picked up. Um, online um yeah the first one is a reissue of Jin by the band Melakesh um, I really enjoy this band this band is has his roots in Israel um, this is a black black trash band with some um, Eastern Orthodox influences it has a really amazing own sound um, also has a bonus disc for the, this uh, issue um, containing some demo recordings from 1998. Um, yeah, the original El Jin album was released in 2001, I think, by Osmos Productions, if I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong. But yeah, this is a really nice reissue with really glossy lettering and drawings on the booklet here. Um, and the book booklet itself is attached to um, in the GG pack and it contains lyrics and stuff, you know the drill, um, that kind of stuff. Um, two disc sets, um, both are in the end ways of the GG uh, pack. Um, not really my favorite way to store CDs, but yeah, it, it is like that. So I uh, really wanted to have this album. So. Uh, yeah, I'm really got, glad I've got it right now. Um, Jin by Malakash, really a band to check out if you're not familiar with, familiar with it. Um, hopefully you can see it a bit better so like this. Um, yeah, really great band. Really nice reissue done by Osmos Productions and I'm really glad to own this right now. Awesome stuff. Um, next up. Another album, it's a reissue, uh, released in 20, uh, 2002 as the issue. Original was released in 1986. Um, way back, this is some classic deaf trash metal band from Switzerland. I'm talking about Messiah, and this is him to a Brimelin, which is this album. Amazing band, already showed the extreme cool weather vinyl some videos ago and i'm really glad to have this one now as well great stuff released done by massacre records i'm not really sure what one was the original label but yeah yeah it comes like this anyways um quick look in the booklet here some pictures and stuff like that really awesome pretty well done reissue great stuff um, if you're not familiar with the band go check them out They're really good stuff here um, you don't see a lot of bands coming from Switzerland um, there are a few of course um, but yeah this is really one to check out Messiah into a Berlin great release pure nostalgia 80s death metal um, next two up I picked up at a, a record store uh, here in uh, in Zwolle. Um, this one is a 80s classic, original release in Energy 88. This is Overkill with Under the Influences. Influence. Um, I think the third album, if I'm not mistaken. Um, classic fresh metal from New York. Great stuff. Um, I think everybody is familiar with this band by now. If not, sorry. Then you must have something to check out. Um, great stuff. Really nice artwork here. And the inside has some lyrics and stuff. Some pictures and some pictures on the back. 
of the booklet. Yeah, really good stuff. Um, Lisbon Air Mega Force. Um, yeah, great classic first metal. You can't go wrong here if you're into trash. Check out Overkill with Under the Influences. Influence. Why well, is he influences? I don't know, but yeah, really great stuff. Also picked up the new Abbath album, Outstrider. Um, gotta see this guy in his band live on the Stonehenge Festival and thought, yeah, let's pick up his second album as well. I already have his debut album. Um, second album from this uh, Norwegian band um, led by Abbath. Um, so as you guys can see, the CD is still in the CD player. Um, yeah, second album since he left Immortal. Um, when he left his first album, I was, I was really pretty impressed. Um, then the new Immortal came out, and that impressed me more. Um, this one, I don't know. I think it's better than the first Abbott album, but um, I have to listen to it to some more. Um, but I like it so far, uh, how it is. Really great stuff. Um, Diverse in sounds and tempo changes and stuff like that. Um, even some acoustic thingy, I think. Um, yeah, really interesting album. Um, definitely stoked to see Abbott live. Um, Outstrider by Abbott. Great stuff. I know it's a pretty dark cover, but uh, yeah, it is how it is. Um, next up, the next. Six albums um, I picked up at a record fair. They had a really nice deal there. Um, buy one for five euros, and if you buy three, you pay ten euros for three CDs. So that's a really nice deal. Um, I picked up some stuff I didn't have yet, uh, or all old releases. Um, one of them um, I kind of had, but yeah. I uh, lost it, I think, I don't know, uh, but uh, yeah, really glad to own that in my collection again. Anyways, I start off with um, a band I showed not so long ago, showed the uh, reissue of the vinyl um, from the debut album from this band. And now I have the second album, only on CD then. And this is Menagar with Havitz Vargar. And it is some bla black Viking folkish metal from Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. Released by Displeased Records. This is an oldie uh, because uh, Displeased Records is uh, disfunct for some time now. Yeah, really shame because I really like that label, but yeah, shit happens sometimes. Um, really good, nice cover. I hope you guys can see it a bit. lyrics and what not in the booklet yeah really amazing band i really like the debut album so other albums i heard and yeah this album is pretty good as well um really enjoyed it manor garment harvest vodka go check it out if you're not familiar with this band great stuff next up some german black metal um this is eminence with anti-genesis the on the eighth day I destroy uh, God Creation, which is this album. Um, third album from this band, and a second of our first release on last episode records for this band. Also released another album on this uh, label uh, after this one, and then went to another label. But I really like last episode records, really great label. But um, yeah, it's a pretty good black metal as well. Um, symphonic touches to it. Um, but here and there are also some death metal influences in the guitar work and on the backing vocals. Um, but yeah, really great German metal here. Really enjoyed it. Sp sp spun this not so long ago and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, great stuff. Google has pictures uh, from the band members and some credits and stuff on the back. And the song titles. Yeah, really great stuff. Um, yeah, I really like this album. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's not super um, new to black metal, but um, it, it has done done before. But this is pretty good release, nonetheless. Um, so yeah, pretty nice one to check out. Eminence with Anti Genesis and 
the undertitle is called Under the Eighth Day I Destroyed God Creation. And I really enjoy the artwork as well with the church and castle thingies in the back. Really cool. Um, next up, a um, band from Norway. This is the first album from this band. And this is Ein Herrier with Dragons of the North. This is this one, Viking Metal. Really cool stuff. Um, really nice that I found this one. This one is not everywhere. Um, some later albums are, but this one, no. Um, pretty decent stuff here. Uh, first release I've got from this band, but I really was familiar with this for a longer time. Um, I heard this a lot of times in the past, and I'm really glad that I have now a physical copy. Lyrics and whatnot, pictures, and yeah, you know the drill. Um, released by Napalm Records in back in the day. I think this is also reissued now. Under the name Dragons of the North X or something, I don't know. The, the front cover is also a bit different, it has the same imaging, but yeah, rework, artwork. Um, but yeah, but this is some really fantastic stuff here. This was released in. 96, 98 or something in that vein, I don't know, back in the day anyways, um, really good stuff, Ein Herrier, Dragons of the North, um, check it out if you're into Viking, metal, great stuff. Again, some Viking folk, black metal, this is Wintersorg with Cosmic Genesis, um, this is the third album from this band, um, has some space rock influences as well. Um, yeah, really interesting album. Nice artwork as well. I really enjoy the green vibe here. Fantastic album. I really enjoy this. Yeah, also released back in the day by Napalm Records, and I really saw this 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 stand in the uh, at that fair has a lot of, had a lot of stuff from that label from back in the day. So yeah, I think somebody um, got rid of their his collection and dumped it with that distro or dealer. What I can't know what it is, but um yeah, um. But yeah, really glad the person did because this is some great stuff, and these are all. These are all early the presses, so I was really stoked to see that. Um, yeah, really great stuff. Winterstorg with Cosmic Genesis. Also find, found this one. Um, I have the debut EP from this band as well. Um, and I enjoyed the later work, which also is pretty hard to get. Um, and this one I really enjoy as well. And uh, this is Ordo Draconis with the way and the bird of the wing and the burden. And this is some Dutch symphonic black metal. Um, really great stuff. Think like early Emperor and that kind of bands. Um, then you will probably enjoy this. Has some progressive touch as well. Um, pretty technical stuff on here and there in the guitar work and uh, the synth has a really nice layer on um, the black metal as well. Um, the vocals on the hands are pretty uh, hard, hard to get used to. Um, they are raspy screams. Um, not everywhere superb, I think, but uh, really fits the music. Um, I also think there are some female singing one or two songs, but uh, yeah, really great stuff. Dutch black metal. This album is not to be found everywhere but if you look good enough you will find it and it's not really uh, expensive either so uh, yeah pretty good stuff um, yeah at least original was released by Skaldic R Productions um, yeah I think it's also um, other press of this one or is it um, promo I don't know anyways another sort kind of version but um, yeah 
Really glad to have this one. Order the Cronus, the wing and the burden. Glad I could add this next to my EP and Inspectors Noctis. Um, also really nice release. Um, great stuff. Now I'm looking for the follow up to the, uh, this uh, these two records, which is a double album. Um, or two separate CDs. Uh, um, Camera Obscura, I think it's called, part one and part two. Um, really experimental stuff on that album go on, even more than this one. Um, yeah, but yeah, it's really good stuff here. Um, Order Draconis, if you haven't heard it, go look it up. Also check out the later work from this band and you will be amazed what they can do because the, that work is really progressive. They also do jazz and other music uh, stream, um, music genres putting it into their black metal. So it's really interesting stuff. But this, uh, yeah, really nice symphonic black with here and there some progressive touches. Um, great stuff. And the last one I was really stoked to find and that was the record I talked about. I had this really back. Um, definitely one of my favorite albums from this band. Um, I'm glad to own this again. Um, this is Summoning with Minas Morgul. And this is some really fantastic black metal guys from Austria. This is a uh, original press from 1995. Um, amazing stuff. If you are in black metal and in um, in Lord of the Rings, Tolkien stories, you definitely will enjoy this. This is amazing stuff. Uh, second album from this band. Um, First album was a bit more raw black metal and more speedy than this one. This is kind of a bit slower uh, compared to the first one. And you know what happened with this band later on. They got more into this folky uh, black metal symphonic uh, stuff with Tolkien lyrics. Um, but yeah, really great stuff. Um, this is definitely an album you must have in your collection. This is really, really great stuff. Minas Morgul with of, uh, I mean, uh, summoning with me, Minas Morgul, sorry. Um, great stuff, definitely worth checking out. So that's it guys, that are the releases I got in on CD. Um, there is some stuff to show you, I've still got some records from the f uh, record from the fair and all the other uh, two other records to show you guys. Uh, also I have a tape update still waiting to show you guys. Um, there's a lot of stuff coming up, although I'm gonna buy a bit uh, less than I usually do in the coming months. Um, keeping the cost a bit lower because there are con concerts coming. Um, I want to have a nice time on the holiday with my girlfriend and uh, doing stuff in the house with, is, which also costs money. So um, I after those updates you probably see not a lot of updates maybe a few but not that much as i used to do um i will do try to make some other videos though um or reaction videos or whatever um anyways i will try to keep me videos make uh, make videos for you guys and um yeah do, doing what I do, uh, what I like uh, on this channel. Um, I hope you discovered something new with these CDs. Let me know, guys, um, which one piqued your interest. Uh, did you know the CDs? Did you discover something new? Um, anyways, let me know, guys, in the comment section. Um, I will leave links in the description as always um, so you just can discover the music. Um, got nothing more to say, guys. Um, Enjoy your weekends and um, hope to see you very, very soon. Cheers.